It is a pleasure to invite our founder's grandson to speak briefly about the opportunity to realize a dream for scouting by making a feature film about Lord Robert Baden-Powell. Please welcome my Michael Baden-Powell. Alhamdulillah, which in English means welcome, or something like that. We have a, one of our Arabic friends right in front of us, and uh, I'm sorry if that's not quite pronounced correctly, but it's a delight to have the opportunity of addressing you this afternoon. The presentation of On My Honour. I hope by now all of you will have had the opportunity to look at and indeed read the booklet introducing the proposed film, On My Honour, in your welcome kit. T continuing on with my late grandfather's vision, this project will be of a significant interest to all BP fellows, friends of scouting and guiding, scouts and girl guides worldwide, and the general public as a whole. The objective of this project is quite simply, one, to help grow scouting. Let me repeat, to help grow scouting um, to something like 100 million by 2023. I could tell you the whole story, but I won't because time doesn't permit it. And we also hope to help guiding as well, our sister movement, to something like 20 million by about the same date. Secondly, is to create further peace, harmony, and understanding in this very troubled world we're currently living in. How can we achieve this? Perhaps some of our well-connected BP fellows will support our efforts and help us by introducing us to the production team, to a number of well-influential uh, contacts. Secondly, as an alternative fundraising method, maybe approaches could be made to existing scouts and guides around the world using the Jamrod fundraising idea, first presented in 1928-29 when Hank Christian Holm, the then president of the Danish Scout Association, organised for scouts around the world to donate the equivalent of one English penny. Those of you who do not know what that all went to can come and ask me later. The important background to making this film and why it should be made now is quite simply the current dreadful and shocking conditions of current conflicts which have existed far too long in the Middle East namely and other places as well. Via the media, we have all witnessed the resulting useless, useful, useless, wastefulness, carnage. The stories of so many deaths and torture of people, not forgetting the enormous problems of innocent people being forced to leave their homes, to seek refuge through no fault of their own in other countries, notably Europe, Turkey, Greece, Austria, Germany, just the name of you. I think perhaps the big question is, all the suffering, why? Why? That's the question. And I want you all to give this question a lot of thought. As one illustration that comes to mind immediately, flashed on our television screens right across the world, was recently the image of that little boy, barely four years of age, being carried off a beach because he was drowned. Drowned trying to get to safety with his family. A graphic illustration, symbolic of precisely what we're now talking about. There is absolutely no question of doubt in my mind that uh, no politician can ignore the single voice of a hundred million plus. This was my grandfather's 
dream when he started the movement just 109 years ago. The simple truth is that the world needs the scouting spirit now, and I mean now, more than ever at any time in history. The World Foundation, the World Scout Foundation, was started to encourage scouting and guiding and help community, to help communities right throughout the world through the word service and the promotion of goodwill. The film will provide the Foundation with a wonderful opportunity to achieve these important objectives. There is a saying, a picture tells the story of a thousand words, but a moving image goes beyond words to touch the hearts and minds of people, irrespective of country, class or creed. No more talk. It is now time for purposeful action, and I mean purposeful action. The line has been drawn. Let us unite and do it. Could we have the DVD? In 1909, the world was changed forever when the youngest and one of the most decorated generals in the British Army resigned his commission to form the largest and most successful youth organization on earth. While others talk of world peace, here's someone who actually did something to achieve it. Lord Robert Stevenson Smythe Baden-Powell, a British war hero, became known as the Pied Piper of Peace, and on my honor is his story. In 1958, the most successful and well-known movie producer in Hollywood was Cecil B. DeMille. Following the incredible success of his epic film, The Ten Commandments, he announced that his next movie would chronicle the exciting military adventures of Lord Robert Baden-Powell and dramatically portray how, at the suggestion of the King of England, BP left military service for a higher calling in starting the worldwide scouting movement. But DeMille died in early 1959, and unfortunately his movie died with him. And now, as scouting begins its second century and the world movement sets its goal to reach over 100 million scouts and guides, the power and impact of a new major motion picture, inspired by DeMille, is poised to bring to the screen this amazing story of scouting's founder and the reasons why he renounced war to become a man of peace. It is intended that a film be made to tell basically the story of his life which gave him the impetus to start what is now known as the Scout Movement right throughout the world. He just conceived this idea that he could in fact bring about in this world something quite unique and what the world has needed for a long time, that is world peace. Oscar-winning producer Gerald Mullen and American Eagle Scout and longtime scouter Robert Starling will assemble an A-list production team and a star-studded cast to create a blockbuster movie reminiscent of some of Hollywood's finest moments. Come on, man! But they'll never take our freedom! As this epic adventure film is shown worldwide, the values and ideals of scouting will be retold in the life of its founder, Baden-Powell. Hundreds of millions of people will be introduced to the movement that has created messengers of peace in over 150 nations. The benefits to scouting and to each country's national scouting organizations will be enormous. In 1908, only one year after Brown Sea Island, a British silent movie about scouts helped to popularize the new movement. In other motion pictures where scouting has been portrayed in a positive light, the public relations value has been incredible.
I learned it in the Boy Scouts. You were a Boy Scout? Mm -hmm. So was I. Really? Yes, I had 19 married batches. Uh, I had 20. Oh, I was working on my 20th when the government abolished scouting and sent me <laughs> into the Hitler Youth instead. This reminds me of the rainforest in New Zealand. I earned my wilderness merit badge there. You were a Boy Scout, sir? I was an Eagle Scout. Huh. So was I. Uh, look, Miss Warfield, Clark is the oldest living Boy Scout, okay? He's, he's trustworthy, he's helpful, he's loyal, he's obedient. He... The producers also plan to distribute the film in such a way that local scout units can share not only in the intangible benefits, but the financial rewards as well. Join us in bringing to the screen the adventure story of Scouting's founder, Lord Robert Baden-Powell, and help Scouting move forward with even greater impact into the 21st century. If the world was like a jamboree, there would be peace everywhere. <laughs> Thank you all, good luck to you, and I wish we may meet again. Brother Scouts, I'd like, and fellow, BP fellows, I'd like now to introduce you to our Hollywood producer, uh, Robert Starling. Robert. Dear fellow scouts and BB fellows and scout leaders from around the world, what an incredible honor it is for me to be here for you, to be here with you today. When I first uh, became a Cub Scout in Pac 44 in Columbus, Georgia, in the USA, I would have never thought of being in a position like this. But when I received uh, my Eagle badge, when I was the second Eagle in Troop 205, which was a troop that was founded in the year of my birth, char first chartered, with my uncle, my grandfather, and my father as, as part of the uh, founding committee members. But I would never have uh, even dreamed of being in a situation like this before the world leaders of the scouting organization, and I'm grateful to be here. I went on to become a scoutmaster, and then I trained other scoutmasters. And I received the Silver Beaver, and I was on the staff of a couple of national jamborees, the World Jamboree. That's just a, and, and the World Jamboree in Japan last summer was what I, when I met Michael. What an amazing man, and what a great representative of the scouting spirit. Michael Bibb Tyler. I just, I just bring that to your attention to say, to say that I have scouting in my blood. I was born to be a scout. And it's, uh, and, and why am I here today? I'd like to speak to you today about the second greatest story ever told. I say the second greatest story because if I'm to be true to my duty to God, it's his story is the first. But the second greatest story ever told is that of our founder, Lord Robert Baden Powell. And I sincerely believe that uh, his story and the wonderful movement that he's founded is most important. It's the fervent desire of my heart to tell that story to the world in the most effective way possible. And that's with a motion picture. The great film director Frank Capra once said, no saint, no pope, no general, no sultan has ever had the power that a filmmaker has the power to talk to hundreds of millions of people for two hours in the dark. <laughs> of course, to be effective, a film has to be of good quality, and we've got that covered. My producing partner, Gerald Mullen, won an Academy Award for Best Picture for Schindler's List that he produced for Steven Spielberg, along with a number of other uh, pictures for Spielberg. And together, Jerry and I can assemble the creative team that we need to make this a major, major motion picture. The motion picture can communicate on so many levels, both the heart and the mind. And what is the message that we want to communicate? When I first went over this, uh, read one of the screenplay drafts of On My Honor that the writers had prepared for Cecil B. DeMille, uh, that was back in 1958. 
But there was a key scene that I remembered and it stuck with me for these 20 years I've been trying to get this movie made. And that is that he was, as a young man being, uh, he was sent to a peace conference in Africa to uh, try to prevent a war. And as he, as he approached the camp, he saw these two little boys, an Anglo boy and a native boy playing together. They had learned each other's language and they were just having a wonderful time. And he had this vision. He said that, and, and it came to him, he says, if I can get young people together while they're, they, before they grow up and learn to hate each other, then maybe we can have some peace in the world. And that became, uh, in large measure, his mission, his mission throughout, the rest of his, throughout the rest of his life. And so, my brothers and sisters in the scouting movement, I want to share that, that moment that I read in that screenplay, along with great other moments in the life of our founder. I believe it can be, that can make a, make a difference in the world. Baden Powell was once called the Pied Piper of Peace, and today our scouts are called Messengers of Peace. Last July, I interviewed a scout in Japan, and you saw it on the video, who said, if the whole world would be like this jamboree, we'd have peace everywhere. I saw 33,000 young scouts from over 150 countries playing and singing together and having a great time. And that's, that's what we want to bring to the rest of the world. So, but we need your help. The average, the average Hollywood major movie costs over 100 million American dollars to make and another 50 million to advertise, to market it, and distribute it. Now one of our scout laws is a scout is thrifty. And I believe we can do it, this job for less than that. But it still requires a major investment. Let me emphasize, I'm not, I, am, I am talking about an investment, not a donation. Because this, as a commercially re released movie, On My Honor has a built-in audience of over 600 million scouts and scouters around the world, not to mention their families and their friends. So, and the alumni of scouting all over the world can, by themselves, make this a blockbuster success as a motion picture. And of course, they all have family and friends as well. So the, those who join us as financial partners in producing this film, and that's what we're looking for, stand to re realize not only an intangible return on their investment, but a very real, uh, tangible return as well. So whether it's you or someone you know that you can introduce us to, please reach out to help us make this movie a reality. Michael and I will be here for the entire conference, and we'd love to talk to you about this project. Movies have helped scouting to grow before. You saw a clip from a film in 1908, one year after Brown Sea Island, that was made in Great Britain, a silent film called Scouts to the Rescue. It helped jumpstart the movement and, and make it as popular as it was, and soon it began to spread like wildfire. Same thing happened in the United States uh, when scouting came in 1910. Two years later, they authorized to have a movie made uh, in, uh, in the United States. It came out in 1913 called The Making of a Boy Scout. Again, it was a silent movie, but it helped jumpstart the movement and helped the growth begin. And we believe that On My Honor can help the world organization of the scouting movement reach its goal of over 100 million members in the next few years. And I, uh, I believe it can also help perhaps bring a little bit of peace to the world. Thank you very much.